how to fix Shopify checkout step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can fix your Shopify checkout. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to do whenever you are looking to see the viability of your Shopify checkout is to actually go to the checkout page yourself. So add any item into your cart and then go into your cart. Once you're in your cart, you wanna click on checkout over here. Now, this will show you a sample form, which is the default form that is used to build Shopify checkouts. This includes information such as emails, delivery addresses, and the shipping method and payment. So as you guys can see, I haven't added any payment methods yet, so the checkout can't be completed. Then there's also estimated taxes added. For some stores, that might be standard protocol. However, other stores might not want to leave taxes up to the customer and might include taxes in the overall price that they are charging so let's set all of these things up and create our shopify checkout so the first thing you need to do whenever you're building your checkout is to make sure that you have selected your shopify plan if you don't have a shopify plan yet then you won't be able to select the checkout so then your checkout won't show up and that will just create another issue. So make sure you're choosing a plan and Shopify is going to give you a $1 per month plan for the first three months as well. Now, after you have selected your plan, you're going to go into settings on the bottom left. Then you can go into the checkout section over here. Once you go into the checkout section, you can customize your checkout. Things such as your logo, fonts, and colors can be customized directly by the Shopify website builder. So if you click on this button, this will open up the website builder, but more on that later. Now in your checkout page in your settings, you have your contact method, phone number or email or email. Let's say I only use email to contact. then. If you want to require the customer to log into their account before checkout now this can be a great way for you to get more registrations however some customers just leave their order if they actually have to sign up so this really depends on you now you also have the option to show a link to download the shop app then you have their customer information so let's say I don't include company names. I have a address line, which is required because I'm shipping my products. Then I have the shipping address phone number, which is also a required field. Then after that, I'm going to add some marketing options. So you can let customers sign up for email or SMS marketing, and I can pre-select the email option. And then if the customers want, they can deselect it. Now, after that, you also have a tipping option. This is more viable for the POS system that you are using. So if you're using Shopify as your POS, you might want to include tipping at your checkouts. However, if this is a delivery based only business, I wouldn't recommend creating tipping in maybe clothing stores because that is not something that is standard. Then you have your address collection preferences and order processing. So if you want to automatically fulfill the order line items, if you only want to fulfill the gift cards, if you don't want to fill, fill out any of the automatic fulfillment with the entire order, or if I also want to automatically archive the order once it has been refunded. So let's say I want to automatically fulfill the order line items and I want to automatically fulfill I want to notify customers of their shipment, but I don't want to fulfill the orders that have a high risk of fraud. So these might be orders that are too large in quantity or they are ordering too many things and it doesn't look like a real order, then those won't be automatically fulfilled. The rest of the orders will be fulfilled. Next up, you also have abandoned checkout emails. This is more so related to your marketing. Then you also have your order status page. So you guys can see that you can add a script, which can be like a thank you note or a shop more note. And then you have your language and checkout rules. Now you're going to click on save on the bottom of your checkout page. And we can go into our second settings that you have to set up, which are payments. So for any checkout to be viable, you need to make sure that you have payments added. A lot of people face the issue of when they have added their payments, it is still showing an error. So let's take a look at how you can prevent that. Now on Shopify, there are a lot of different providers. Taking a look at a provider, just you can go into choose provider and choose any provider that you want. For testing, you have a bogus getaway and you can click on activate for testing. 
and you will be able to see the bogus getaway will be added. There are some additional payment methods you can add that are not related to maybe, you know, basic methods such as Klarna or any third party payment methods. Then you can also search for the particular provider and only provide the payment methods via that provider. You also have manual payment methods, so you can add manual payment methods such as bank deposit, money orders, cash on delivery, or even your own custom method. Now, custom methods might include payment getaways that are localized. Maybe you have a national payment getaway or, you know, a local payment system that you might be using and might be reliable for you. You can create a custom payment method, add the name, add the detail, and the payment instruction in your custom getaway. Now, you also have payment customization, and then you also have the option for payment capture method, where you can authorize and capture payment when an order is placed. You can click on manage over here, and you can automatically do this when it is at checkout or when the order is fulfilled. So the payment is authorized at checkout, but wait to capture until the order is fulfilled. You can still capture it manually if needed. Now, this really is not something I like to do. I like to prefer to do it at checkout. And even if I'm not going to fulfill the order, so if I find that there might be a high risk of fraud, I will not fulfill the order and I can refund the money back to the customer. That's always a safer bet for you and your business. Now, once you have set all of these basic settings up, you need to also go into your checkout and make sure everything is as you prefer. You have your checkout and payment set up. After that, the third thing you need to set up is shipping and delivery. All of these options are going to be different for you, depending on what kind of product you're selling, depending on how you're looking to structure your business. So I'm going to skip that because this is going to be something that you're going to do that is according to your personal store. Now I can open up my store over here. I can go into my checkout. And if I check out with this item over here, I have all of the basic standard options. I have my payment info. I have my shipping method. I have all of the information I need to add and I can just add my info over here. And this will lead me to the checkout. Just to make it simpler, I'll show you guys a checkout page with a bogus getaway, which is going to be a custom getaway with cash. So let's say I'm just going to do cash on delivery like this, and I'm going to save this. Now, if I go back into my checkout, I'm going to choose the cash on delivery option. So obviously I haven't added a proper address, so it's going to show me errors because the address is not something that can be delivered to. But keep in mind that I also have a error for the total order. Now, this is something a lot of people at checkout are going to face, especially if you're doing your taxes separately. So if the customer has to pay taxes on their own end. So make sure to go into taxes and duties over here and you can manage your sales tax as well as duties and fees. Now, if you want to click on include tax and prices, just tick off this option. This is something you need to tick off if you're only doing a domestic business, then make sure to include taxes in your initial prices to prevent any further issues at checkout. Now, if you're facing issues still at checkout that are related to your payment, then you can go into your payments over here, click on manage, deactivate whatever payment system that you have added, then click on choose a provider. You can choose an alternate provider or you can also go with the same provider again. Just make sure to deactivate the provider once and then reactivate your provider. That usually resolves any errors or bugs that you have with setting up your payment provider. Now to change the appearance of your checkout page, go into settings and checkout and click on customize checkout over here. This will open up the website editor and from here on the left side, you have multiple different options where you can change the layout, add animations, buttons, variant pills, inputs, product cards, and more. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.